Chrissy and Alex from Germany. Today we will give a small tutorial from our today's workshop. So it's just some nice wave movements, so but just sensual and also the technique behind it. Okay, I would say let's start. First of all, prepare yourself. Um, we start in a closed position, so my right hand is upon the spine or if you like or prefer more on the shoulder blade. My left hand, I really do prefer to hold it on the shoulder blade, uh, shoulder blade, sorry. So we start with a basic movement, but just half a basic. So we have one, two, three, four. What I have to deal with now is that I really get in touch with my knee or with the outside of my leg towards her knee or inside of her leg. Now I will do a small circle action. So I will lift myself up and important here is that I really get this movement out of my leg. So from here, I do my step. We go around and finish first upon the right foot for the guys, upon the left foot for the girls. Let's do this one more time, really slow. If you want, you can stand like, like us. So the guys next to me, the ladies next to Chrissy. We start. Five, six, seven, go. And one, two, three, four. And five, six, seven, eight. Make sure 100% of your weight is now upon your right foot as a guy or as a leader and as a follower upon your left foot. Once again, now from a different angle. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. In our pattern, we will continue directly with a central move. So therefore, we will do some wave action. We will show you from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will be the whole routine. But first of all now, how do I make sure my followers understanding what I want her to do in this particular moment? First of all, I always indicate every movement or every wave action or snake action, which I want her to do primarily with my body. So I prepare first my complete shoulder bend. I make a small tilt in my upper body. So my lady really senses what I'm willing to do. Therefore, she's in good contact with my shoulders or with my upper arms, depends on the, on the difference of growth. So therefore, I first tilt my upper body and then roll with my right hand a little bit back. In this particular moment, I change the direction, not just with my hands, also again with my shoulder belt and my upper body. One, two, three, four, five, six. After there, we do it one more time. We change the angle. We start together. Leaders, please stand by my side, follower by Chrissy's side. And we start with the first move. So from here, we one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, ladies, for you, what I think is really important is maintain with your head always like in the opposite direction. So you focus when I go to your, uh, I speak now out of the view of the lady, to the right hand side, you look to the left, to the right, to the left. Next important thing is always move diagonally. If you want to indicate or lead this particular pattern, make sure you always have also a small twist in the upper body or actually in the complete body because you can do a normal snake action as well, but this doesn't feel that comfortable. I prefer, especially in a social, always a slightly diagonal movement. Why? Because it feels so much softer for me, personal, as a leader, 
to move this way and also for the lady I think it's quite more comfortable. So you have to imagine it's like a figure eight that you are drawing and me as a woman, we always have to bend a bit our knees so we have the stability, okay? With straight knees, I cannot do these movements, okay? So always be elastic and search for bend knees. Yeah, this is a really, really good advice and also really important advice because every snake or every wave movement you have is first of all just a transfer, uh, just a transfer of weight between your legs. So this is actually the main or the basic movement which you have, so the, the really fundamental. And also here my legs are also slightly bent. So if I, I, if I take this seriously, it's super easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, to dance this move. So let's start together from the top. Five, six, basic. One, two, three, now circle. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four. So this last movement, which we have now, look from here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. I, I really take her towards me. So five, six, seven, eight. And I get in touch here with her uh, right leg. I'm sitting on my right leg, okay? I've got stability also with my left one, but it's not lifting up. So if I rise again, I first um, pull a little bit my hip backwards so the hip of the lady comes forward and then I support her by her back and bring her slightly up and at last I transfer my weight to the left for the lady to the right and afterwards we can have five, six, seven, eight. The final of the basic movement and we are again in our, in our musical phrase. So, just this last movement, from here we have five, six, seven, eight. So again, just probably one important point for me, just as it's my personal opinion. If I lead the lady in a way of movement, I always try at least slightly to do it as well. Why? Because the picture with which I'm drawing in this moment or the, the picture which we are drawing as a couple is far more, um, how, can, how can I say it, it's much more, yeah. Harmonic. Yeah, harmonic. Yeah, harmonic. Yeah, harmonic. Because otherwise for me, da, 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 da. so the lady is just moving and I, I really don't get it. So therefore, always, Try to do the her movement also with your body and you will automatically, first of all, lead her far better and secondly, it will look amazing. Okay, let's start from the top. Stand by our side. So leaders next to me, ladies next to Chrissy. We start. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and one and three and five six seven eight and one two three four five six seven eight once again different angle five six five six seven and one two three four five six seven eight and one and three and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And five. So this was our small tutorial for our outtake of this wonderful Bachata Day by Bachata Media and Salsa Arena with the wonderful and amazing Chrissy and me, Alex. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share this video also on Instagram, Facebook, and yeah, if you like this video, always remember, release a comment and a like, and then we're really happy. Thanks a lot for watching.